U.S. basketball players are pulling out due to lingering injuries, or are they really injuries? Yeah, well, you know, Blake Griffin is an injury, clearly. Uh, Chris Paul, Anthony Davis, John Wall all expressed concerns as the reason for not competing. Uh, Draymond Green, uh, uh, if he's invited to play, he says he will. Uh, Andre Iguodala could opt out. Uh, Jerry Colangelo and Coach K have enough problems here. Uh, They both plan to announce the 12-man roster in late June after the finals is over and after the draft. But at the end of the day, it is very interesting because pro uh, tennis players, uh, pro basketball players, some pro golfers uh, have a lot more to lose, they say. And it's not as uh, patriotic, let's say, as some of the amateur athletes who really only have one or two shots at this. Now, the NBA Finals, uh, the season is going to wrap up uh, a little bit later on tonight, Game 7 uh, up in the Bay Area. But the basketball tournament, a $2 million winner-take-all event, it's wrapping up its field of 64 teams in advance of the opening round of action. What exactly do we have here for Hoop fans? Yeah, it's kind of like the next step of street ball, but the ESPN.com folks and others are saying that 50 former NBA players already signed and uh, to play D1 colleges laden with alums, so Syracuse, Kentucky, Michigan State, Gonzaga, hit all entering teams. So this is kind of cool. You see VCOs, two, the VCU's 2011 Final Four team. You see the core of Villanova's 2009 Final Four team. The guy that founded this has regional rounds set in Chicago, L.A., Charlotte, Philly, and other places. So it's kind of a knockoff of the old days, except the guys are a little older, they're a little heavier, and they can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> we talk the business of sports with Rick every week. Sports, marketing, endorsements. The professor, thanks for joining us long distance from the U.K. this morning, and happy Father's Day. You too, pal. See you next week. Yes, indeed we will. Uh, that's uh, the professor always on the move. Wow, in the, the U.K. this morning. All right, uh, let's move into this. Uh, I wanted to share some of this with you in uh, thinking about Father's Day and the uh, father-son duos that we've seen in sports over the years. There are a lot of names that come to mind. Uh, Actually, I could say families that come to mind. The Hulls, the Howes, the Alomars, the Ripkins, the Boons, the Berries. There's a lot of them. Uh, But, uh, you know, in talking about some of the best ever, boy, there's been some great ones. Uh, Cecil and Prince Fielder, Howie and Chris Long are a couple of them. Uh, There was an interesting combination with Ken Norton Sr. and Jr., where Ken Norton, of course, known as a boxer, and then his son went on to play in the National Football League. Then there's been uh, some others in the National Basketball Association. Really, that's where it's really gone crazy, is in the NBA. Calvin and Grant Hill, uh, Doc and Austin Rivers. We still don't know what kind of a player Austin is, although he's off to a pretty good start. Uh, and, of course, NASCAR, there's a ton of them in NASCAR, none bigger than Dale and uh, Dale Jr. in NASCAR. But some of the other names that uh, that really need to get mentioned because of their achievements uh, are these guys. The Waltons, Bill and Luke Walton, both world champions. And should Clay Thompson and the Warriors win tonight, Clay and Michael Thompson both will be back-to-back world champions. Boy, you talk about a record that could be hard to beat. Maybe another reason for you to pull for the Warriors to pull this one out tonight. Coming up next in the program, hope you'll stay with us. NFL Hall of Famer Mike Ditka joins us next on NBC Sports Radio. You're listening to NBC Sports Radio. Weekends. This is Speaking of Sports with Jim Daniels on NBC Sports Radio, where every day is game day. And now, it's Jim Daniels. Appreciate you choosing us, NBC Sports Radio and NBCSportsRadio.com, to be part of your Father's Day. And another thing that goes on in June is Men's Health Month. And uh, because of that, uh, we are now graced with the presence of NFL Hall of Famer. That's right, Mike Ditka, NFL player, coach, television commentator, also a member of both the College and Pro Football Hall of Fame. He's a three-time Super Bowl champion and five-time Pro Bowler. Mike is newly named global spokesperson for Life Extension, a leading global authority on nutrition, health, and wellness, with a new product out called Mike Ditka's Prostate PM, which is perfect for June, which... As I said, is Men's Health Month. Iron Mike, welcome to NBC Sports Radio. 
Thank you. I'm, I'm glad to be with you. Coach, the Chicago Bears drafted you fifth overall out of the University of Pittsburgh. What do you think of the spectacle and popularity of the NFL draft these days? Well, it, it really is. It, 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 it's something. It, it's a show. It, it, and rightfully so, I think. You know, I got a phone call. Uh, I was in at, at Pitt at the time, and I got a phone call. And the phone call, the guy said, uh, he was from the Bears. He said, we drafted you in the first round with a fifth pick. That was it. I mean, so I, I mean, I I, uh, I drove to Chicago and uh, I signed the contract, and then uh, actually moved to Chicago and stayed there, and I'm still here, actually. Now, no trip to New York, no Lear jets, no limousines, no nothing. No, I think I had to buy my own dinner that night too. <laughs> uh, they were they were pretty thrifty at that time, but no, it was a great thrill. I mean, I sat in I sat in a room with. Uh, uh, um, you know, Coach Hallis, and he, and he said, uh, you know, he, he, we're going we're gonna to offer you. I'm in the office actually with him, and he said, we're going to we're going to give you a twelve thousand dollar contract with a six thousand dollar signing bonus. And that was 1961, guys. And I knew what my dad worked made working in the mill. So I mean, I thought that was a whole lot of money, and it was at that time. And uh, I was just excited to get it to play the game that I love to play. And somebody's going to pay you to do it. That's pretty good. Yeah. NFL Hall of Famer Mike Ditka is with his coach. He played the tight end position at the Pro Bowl level. The top tight end in football these days is a guy by the name of Rob Gronkowski. He's listed at six foot six, two 265 pounds. He's a major part of the Patriots offensive unit with a whopping 74 touchdowns in 90 career games. Do you think that Gronk is an anomaly in football, or will we see more power forward size guys at the tight end position going forward? Uh, you're going to see you're going to see the Gronks. The Gronk, you know, it, it is their power. Actually, they're power forwards in the NBA. That's what they are. They're very agile. They're big. They're strong. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're fast. Uh, Gronk is a, <clears throat> a terrific football player. I mean, you know, I, I played my best football at six three, two twenty two, two twenty five. John Mackey was, you know, he was about six two, about two twenty five, two thirty. I mean, there were very few big tight ends at that time. I think. Monty Stickles with the 49ers, and Ron Kramer was a big tight end. He played at Michigan, then he played with the Packers. But, I mean, in, in, and Detroit. So, I mean, there weren't a whole lot of them. I mean, uh, really. And, first of all, the tight end position was not a, a receiving position uh, until, you know, basically the 60s when I, I and Mackey and a couple other guys came into the league. Uh, it, it was basically, uh, you know, you, you were asked to block more than you were catch. So that, that's basically what it was. Yeah, the position has definitely changed over time, certainly to where we are now. Coach Ditka, a major part of your life has been devoted to the game of football. Over time, it's been determined that this game of collision can be dangerous. Now, rule changes uh, have been made, and certainly there's more on the way, like the elimination of kickoffs. But some say that the best way to curb the aggression in this game is to put the players back in modest helmets without face masks. Do you think that that really could be a solution? Well, you know, the, the most sophisticated piece of equipment the player wears is a helmet. Mm-hmm. There's no question about that. <clears throat> and, it's, and it's necessary because of his head. I mean, there's no question. You've got your brain in your head. And, but what's happened, and because it's so, so sophisticated, then you put the face mask on it. The players are no longer afraid to strike with their head. Uh-huh. And when these two things collide, a lot of things happen. And, and, and the brain gets blue, so it can be bleeding. You can get concussions. And, and then that can affect you later on in life. Now, can you change? Football, guys, is not a contact sport. It's a collision sport. People are moving. People are bigger, faster, and stronger. I mean, I mean it, it, it's amazing what shape these guys have to be in to play the game of football right now yeah. because, I mean, it, it's amazing some of the hits they take. Now, you know, we all took them in the, in the 60s, too. We took in and when I played with the Cowboys. But it, it, right now, I, I, I don't know that, that these guys are really uh, – they're such great athletes, but, I mean, the, because of the speed they move at and the contact they have – Something's got to give. Yeah, no no question about that. Uh, Mike Ditka is our guest. But, but I quickly, let me go back to this. The elimination of kickoffs, this is being discussed seriously. Are you okay with this major change to the game? Well, I, I think football, uh, you know, the, we, we've had a great game for 100 years. We kicked it off. We punted it. We did a lot of things. We ran it. We threw it. Uh, I, I don't particularly like rule changes, but if they think, and, and they're pretty – conclusive that this will help 
avoid some of the the, the needless uh, collisions, fine. Then I, I'm all for it. I, I don't know. I didn't hear the rule change. I guess I put the ball on the 20 yard line. But yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. If you can if you can get away from getting guys hurt and and uh, and, and basically, the guys that get hurt on kickoff coverage teams and return teams are not the starters. I mean, except maybe the return guy, because basically they're the, they're the backups. And and uh, you know, that that's who covers kickoffs and punts, and, and and that's just the way it is. That's special teams. Now, Mike Ditka is a name that everyone knows uh, in the world of football, the NFL Hall of Fame, as we've mentioned a couple of times, but. Uh, he also owns and operates Ditka's Restaurants with locations in Chicago and Pittsburgh, the finest steaks in the heart of the Midwest. There is also the Mike Ditka Wine Series. Coach, what's your favorite meal when you have time to sit down with friends at one of your restaurants? Well, you know, I, I, I used to eat the steaks and that, but I, we, we, are, we have a, a, our, our signature dish is a big double-cut pork chop. It's fantastic. But I've been eating a lot of fish lately. I like the salmon. We do a nice salmon. Uh, and when we have the Chilean sea bass, I really like that. We do a nice uh, – some other fish. We do a, a, a deep-fried perch, this, uh, lake perch, lake Erie perch. It's really fantastic. So I really eat more fish than I do meat right now. You know, get into a Ditka's if you get the opportunity. That's probably a great steak, no doubt about that. Now, part of the spoils of a successful life can be extraordinary food and drink. Many of us like to enjoy a nice steak, a glass of wine, a cigar, uh, as you do. But it's important to remember as we age – to keep an eye on our health. June is Men's Health Month, and uh, you are the newly named global spokesperson for Life Extension with a new product out called Mike Ditka's Prostate PM. Tell us about these high-quality winning supplements, Coach. Well, you know, know, Life Extension has been in the health business for about 36 years. They know what they're doing. They came out with some products for uh, the men's prostate. You know, it's got melatonin in it. At least it, it, you can sleep with it, but you know it, 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 it's 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 a product that's uh, that I've been taking for quite a while now, and I find it it's very satisfactory to me. Now I, I I make this saying all the time. I says you cannot stop the aging process, right? But I do believe you can slow it down if you do the right things, if you take care of yourself, and and that comes to diet, exercise, everything is involved. But this prostate PM is a pretty darn good product. And it works for me, and 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 I guess that's the most important thing. So I mean, I'm not going to go out and say, well, if it doesn't work for somebody else, I don't know. But I think it'll work for you. I think it's a great product. And Life Extensions have put a lot of time into it, a lot of effort into it, and a lot of research into it. So they got a pretty darn good product. But then again, I think men's health it depends on your lifestyle. I mean, if you're going to go out and booze it up every night. Uh, chances are you're not going to have a very good lifestyle. You might have a lot of fun, but your your health is going to deteriorate dramatically. Uh, you know, I, I, I the only thing I do now, I smoke cigars, and I like cigars, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to change. That's just the way it is. Are they the best thing for you? Probably not, but, uh, you know, there could, there's a lot of worse things for you, that's for sure. <sighs> That, that, that's for sure. Well, I, I'm tempted to go down the Johnny Manziel path here, but I'll let you off the hook on that one, Coach. What's the best way to get Mike Ditka's prostate PM? Well, I, I think you're going to find it in most of the drugstores now. It's not. It's not something. I, I don't think you have to go online to get it. I, you know, it's coming. Life Extension is getting distribution basically everywhere with the product, and you'll find it more and more in drugstores everywhere. But I think if you ask for it, I mean, you know, they may not have it. They may say, okay, if somebody wants it, then they'll bring it into the stores. And I, I, I live very close to a Walgreens. Or I really haven't looked, but I do believe they carry the product. But I, I, I I'm not positive they do. Great stuff. Uh, look forward to uh, the favorite uh, uh, drugstore that you like to go to. Uh, you did some coaching in Hollywood, too. Back in 2005, you did a sports comedy film with Will Ferrell called Kicking and Screaming. Did you enjoy working with people like Robert Duvall and Ferrell? And would you want to do it again? Well, I don't know if I want to do it again, but I really did enjoy uh, uh, Will Ferrell, and I really did enjoy Duvall. Duvall was a tremendous actor, one of the best actors probably in the history of the, of the mm-hmm. film industry. Uh, Will is just a great guy. He's, he's uh, completely off camera. He's completely different off camera. He's really a good, good, serious guy and a great family guy and a great husband. But on camera, he does some wacky things, So, <laughs> and that's made him a pretty good living, so I think yeah. it's worthwhile to do it. But Robert Duvall is, you know, any part he plays in any movie uh, is always good. So I was surprised he would would even be in a movie like this. I mean, this was about the kids and soccer. And I I, I tell you, I'll be honest with you, I'm not – 
I don't know how many I'd want to do again, but I had a ball. I had a ball with everybody. They treated me terrifically. The kids were fantastic to be around, and it was a great experience for me, so I, I, I really enjoyed it. Well, this was a special experience for us as well, Coach. Thanks for spending time with us. 